All day long I have been recording video of my work on day two of creating a little room addition for the Ford Transit Connect. And I got some okay footage of the work, but all day long the neighbors down the street had the tree service there and I just started editing video and boy that chainsaw is loud in the background really annoying so rather than try to subject you to listening to a lot of chainsaw noise I'm just going to do a walkthrough of what we did today. Terry got the pool noodles there's one that's placed over the uh, canopy pole that's up next to the van it fills in the gap a little bit and helps provide some protection there's another pool noodle up on the top. Let's see if we can get up there. Okay. So that's actually slipped over a white rod like this and resting on top of the van, providing some nice protection. So there's the tailgate open again. We installed the off the grid electrical system. This little unit contains a couple of 12 volt batteries. It can be charged three different ways. It puts out a, a standard 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter voltage, 12 volts. It has a USB port to charge uh, cell phones and such, and it puts out 110 volts. So you can plug in any, you know, you can plug a TV in. We once used this to watch the Super Bowl when there's a power outage in our neighborhood. We had an LCD TV. This was in our car. We brought it up to the apartment plug the television set in and watch the television or the Super Bowl however long that lasted and I've got a cable from that running outside and outside I have a solar panel it's in the shade now but it's in pretty good sun all day so let's uh, move back here take a look at the biggest thing I did today was make the side door which basically involved cutting off that wall I've got magnets holding it to the van and the velcro holds it to the frame these little magnets are pretty powerful i only have three of them on here i'll leave this on overnight we get some gentle breezes but once in a while something stirs so we'll see how that holds so there's lots of room in here this is the area where we can fit. By the way, it needs to be uh, vacuumed. I just helped somebody move some things out and took a lot down to the Goodwill. So the cargo area needs to be vacuumed. But this will hold a bed big enough for two of us in one of the inflatable mattresses. So this is the bedroom. This is the everything else room of the uh, two room Ford Connect Suites. Well, I've got some other little tasks to do on this thing, figuring out ways to anchor it to the ground, that sort of thing. But as far as uh, usable space, well, it's doing pretty good right there. I need to make some extensions for the legs. They're still lifted up off the ground, and actually one of them has a can resting under it. So I'll take care of that. I don't know when I'll be able to take it out to actually try it in the field. Um, I'm hoping September, after my son goes off to college and uh, after everybody else's kids go back to school and the campgrounds aren't so crowded, but we really won't have time until then. Yesterday morning, actually about 2 a.m., a pipe burst in one of our bathrooms, the fresh water supply to the toilet, and flooded most of the house. And that's not fun. We've had insurance people in and out, and they're telling us, oh, you're going to have to move everything out of the house yourself. We're going to rip out the floors. Actually, we had seven years ago seven years ago the same damn toilet uh blew a fitting and it's not the toilet uh, the fittings are made by other companies so anyway so all the work they did replacing all our flooring seven years ago apparently that's going to have to happen again so that's going to be a pain in the butt so a little therapy here working a couple days on putting this thing together tomorrow i will tear it down and hopefully uh pull it back out in September and give it a field test you know in principle it seems fine and again I like the idea of just using an inexpensive uh, 
canopy like this to provide shelter for a vehicle that has some comfortable sleeping accommodations. All right, wish us luck in the, with the insurance company and the, uh, and the repair people. Yeah, the camping part, that's easy. Heck, anybody can do that.